far as CHR is concerned or the participation of CHR and its witnesses in, the, in this inquiry into the spate of extrajudicial killings. And then the second point would uh, be... Excuse me. Uh, let us be very careful, please, with the way we phrase our statements. I can appreciate the fact that sometimes, uh, and I make the same mistake too, I did not suspend the inquiry on extrajudicial killings. It will proceed. But because of the arrogance of a certain individual who represented the Commission on Human Rights, casting as persons on the Senate investigation, it is fair for the Senate to protect itself. And yesterday, in full session, I did not bring it up. Another senator bring it up, and I had to react to it. Let us be very clear. Normally, I would not give any, uh, but I will explain later anyway. So go ahead, but please correct the benefit. Thank because, you. Because because the, the first error of this CHR, because I'm, and I'm referring to this, is that they claim I totally cancelled all the hearings which is totally unfair. There was never any cancellation. We suspended it because of certain incidents that I have already chosen to ignore and by your own representation, Your Honor. That by the representation of two senators, out of respect to them, I did not pursue the matter anymore. I, I stand corrected, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Specifically on the matter of uh, uh, suspending indefinitely the presentation of CHR witnesses in the ongoing uh, inquiry into the spate of killings. And the second point for my manifestation it is with respect to the other ruling or statement of the uh, good chair that we will proceed with consideration of the death penalty uh, bills. So on the first point, Mr. Chair, I perfectly understand the sentiments and, and the displeasure of the good chair and concurred in and shared by the Senate as an institution during yesterday's plenary session when the matter was raised in the privileged speech of Senator Migs Zubiri. I do understand and I share the sentiment that uh, a non-member of the Senate, an official of an institution like the Commission on Human Rights would make harsh statements, strong statements, particularly uh, words like cowards or cowardice, etc. And I understand the sentiment and the demand for an apology from the commissioner concerned. Now, I see that uh, the good chair is also expecting or is demanding an apology from the CHR itself as an institution. Excuse me, uh, I did not bring the matter up, uh, Your Honor. I was content that I got a call from the Chairman of the Human Rights Commission himself. Uh -huh. He requested that about midnight, uh, thereabouts, when he was in Amsterdam, that he, that he learned about the displeasure of the committee on the statements of, uh, with all due respect, a rogue commissioner. We all run, and you were Chairman of the Commission on Human Rights, and you never allowed an individual to speak for you. Because when an individual like this gentleman so-called, speaks roughly about the Senate, which is an institution that is supposed to be respected by the country, he has no right to speak for the Commission. And that's why I chose not to honor his statements. But now, since it's out of the bag, and you will permit me, do you still have the manifestation? Because I, I will have to make a manifestation. Because I didn't want yeah. to bring it out. I will bring it out in the open. But yes. I'm always very transparent. Yes, Mr. Chair, there's if no, I'm... There's no ifs and buts when I speak. I always go out and ask the questions directly. If I may... Please go ahead. ...be allowed to proceed... Uh, but this, this ...continue... we have a long day. ...with my, with my manifestation. Long day. All right. As I was saying, because I was also conversing 
with uh, the chairman of the CHR, Chito Gascon, about the matter. And he was also, he was explaining to me that it would be difficult for them as an institution to issue an apology in relation to the statements of a member or a commissioner. And uh, they are worried about its implications also on the CHR as an institution. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be careful with the words. The expectation of the chair and the committee and the Senate is that the chairman of the Commission on Human Rights talk to this individual. And if he does not agree, the proper and correct thing to do would be to say, we dissociate ourselves completely with the statement of this individual. Unless the Commission on Human Rights is now saying they agree with the uh, statement made by this individual. That's a matter that's different from what the gentle lady is saying. I did not demand any apology. You know, apologies are made by gentlemen on their own. You know, you cannot demand an apology. You cannot demand respect. Respect is earned. When somebody comes out, maybe because he wants to have his two minutes of fame, Guru gusto niya lang sumikat, kaya hindi ko pinatulan po eh. Hindi ko po siya pinatulan, kaya lang nilabas na nga dahil tinatamaan na yung Senado na napakapangit ng sinabi. Ang nakalagay ko sa headline eh, uh, CHR slams Gordon for suspension of Senate inquiry. In the first place, I cannot suspend anything without a motion. And there were senators at that time uh, who were asking for a suspension right to terminate, in fact. Uh, and I said, no, uh, it was just an oversight on the part of Senator De Lima. She's trying to explain uh, about the failure to show that there was actually evidence being presented that was not known to us, and that was the NBI document that showed different witnesses, different principles than what was alleged by Mr. Matubato in three contrarian counter affidavits. The affidavit of Matubato, first of all, saying that he did not take part in the killing of uh, this uh, Makdum, and then the second affidavit again saying that he saw the killing in Alastas and Leg, that he did not participate, and that he saw certain policemen that he knew who was there. And then finally, on the third one, he now says, in open hearing, kami ang pumatay, kasama ako, ako nagbikti, ako ang sumaksak, kasama ko yung kanyang kasama. Eh hindi naman ho namin nalalaman na yung palang NBI, eh may report, at nung lumabas yan, sabi ko, pahintayin natin, if I don't deal in sana or kung sana, pero kung talagang tutuusin, Dapat ang sinabi ninyo ay ilabas natin yung dokumento. At that time, pinapalabas ko na yung dokumento. As it was, lumabas yung dokumento ng NBI, which is an official investigation report, filing a case against Mr. Matabato. Ang nakalagay na police ay completely different from the policeman that he was accusing in open court, in open hearing. Eh, di talaga nagsisinwaling na yung tao. Pero hindi ito bali. I'm not here to judge anybody so far. Pero nung lumabas na nga yung dokumento na yan, eh, hindi ba dapat naalaman ng komite yun? Kaya, nagalit na ho yung ibang kasama natin, hindi ko nababanggitin, inaawat ko nga lahat tayo, eh sana kung pwede lang, kayo nag-motion, as you did today, mag-motion kayo for suspension, eh hindi eh, nung dumating na si Senator Trillanes, ang taas na rin kayo ng boses, eh hindi naman ho pwede yung chairman, itatameme na lang. Hindi naman ho po pwede na magkakagulo yung Senado, at ako yung matras pa nga, sige ho, sabi ko, continue. Eh, that was, un that was uh, really uncalled for. And that is why the, I was going to deliver a privilege speech and ask for an ethics investigation, which I did not, and in fairness to you, without even you coming to me. It was Senator Trillanes who came into my office, uninvited, and he apologized. And I did not even announce that to the media. The media is here. They asked me, anong pinag-usapan? I did not even use the words apology. But since lumalabo na namang usapin, ayoko nga palabuhin ito dahil dapat matapos na tayo dito. Gusto ko matapos na ito eh. Dapat tapos tayo ngayong araw na ito eh. Eh, tila ito yung magtatapos tayo, may lumalabas na bagong issue. 
Kahapon noon, hindi ko inanunsyo na nagpunta kayo sa opisina ko. And I was appreciative. We were very kind and gentle to one another. I even said, kausapin mo yung human rights because hindi naman tama yung ginawa. Wala ako sa manalogue, Chairman Gaston, at siya'y tumawag sa akin. Pero dapat, it is authorized na lumayo sila sa statement na yon in black and white because this is the Senate. And when you say words like, there's every reason to believe it is Gordon who is afraid of hearing. I challenge him as a commissioner. The only way for him to recover his credibility as chairman is to continue with the hearing, which I did not say I was not going to continue. And listen to the other witnesses. Otherwise, there's every reason to believe he is the coward. Matawalang ho naman ako eh. I don't, you know, he can call me a coward, he can call me anything, because I, I know who I am. And not matubato or dilemma, Kadi said. Ngayon, nabangkit ko na yung sinabi niya. No? And then he says, so what are they talking about? That matubato was running away, afraid to confront the other witnesses. Hindi naman ho ako nagpaalis kay matubato eh. Tumakas ho in the middle of the night. After 13 hours of hearing, tumakas. Eh, pinatawad na nga ho natin, eh, sinantabi na nga natin yan para matapos na ito eh. Eh, ngayon, lumabas naman ito ngayon. Kaya lang naman ako, medyo may imutok ng konti, tumawag sa akin si chairman, at sabi niya, aayusin niya, at sasabihin niya, they will dissociate it. Pero ano ang lumabas? Ang lumabas, hindi ko na sinabi ito kahapon sa kwadel, maliit na bagay, papalakin, pero alam ko na kung anong klase ang mga tao. Sa akin o, pag nagsalita kayo ng isasalita, hindi niyo sinunod, Alam ko na kung sino kayo. Kaya ako, pag nagsalita, talagang susundi ko yung sinabi ko. Ano yung sinabi ko? The Commission hopes that the Senate will come up with fair and credible results. Diba? The title of the, 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 this uh, commission, this committee that I did not even want to take over, is Committee on Justice and Human Rights. I don't need a commission to tell me about our human rights. I belong to a very good organization, and I've been there for 48 years, and we try to uplift humankind and alleviate human suffering and human dignity. Now, at the same time, under Senator Richard Gordon's chairmanship of the Senate, this is a statement that came out from the Human Rights Commission on Justice and Human Rights. The Commission continues to pray that the committee will succeed in ferreting out the truth. Wala naman ako kung pinapalampas dito eh. So, siyempre, when Senator Subiri came out with that, I had to answer already. And, we are not taking out human rights out of the equation. I just said, under the circumstances, kung pinagdududahan niyo ang committee, ang, ang committee ng Senado, una kayo pumunta rito, because the Commission on Human Rights under the Constitution is allowed to investigate and recommend the filing of cases. Ipapadala niyo yung kaso dito ng mga testigo ninyo na pailan na ni Senate ni General Bato, ni General Bato, at kung mga hilo na ito ngayon kay Bato Bato at kay Bato, <laughs> eh, na pailan na at pinuntahan ka agad yung unang witness dito, nakabuti nga yun eh. Inimbisti ka na agad yun eh. At, ang sabi ko nga, sa totoo lang, eh lahat huya may testigo, Dali na natin sa polis, file na ng polis. Pag hindi ginawa ng polis yung kanilang trabaho, saka natin investigate ng polis kung talagang rank ang negligence nila, ang direlection of duty, o ang pagsunod, may malfeasance o misfeasance o nonfeasance. Eh, sa akin no, in spite of maraming requests, and I don't want to be petty, pati nga ho, expenses ng human rights, isa charge to sa committee. Eh, okay lang ho sa akin nyo, no, walang problema. Pero wag naman, kung ayaw niyong respetuhin ang nag-iimbestiga, wag na kayong pumunta rito dahil hindi naman niyo kami re-respetuhin, hindi niyo re-respetuhin ang Senado, wag na, mag-aaway lang kami ni uh, Chairman Gaston, na kaibigan ko, tiga UP, at uh, kahit na ibang partido niya, hindi ko sinasama yon pero magkaibigan kami, because ako rin, may partido rin ako, pero wala ako sinasabing bias niya. Ang sinasabi ko lang, do not come here if you do not want to respect the committee, if you do not want to respect the institution of the Senate. But if I were to be asked, 
as chairman, and I've been chairman of SBMA, I've been chairman of other positions as secretary, there is always me who will speak. And when I'm going to attack somebody, I will do it myself. I will not have any member na magkakagulo. You will recall, ang komilek nung araw, nagsasalita isang commissioner, nagsasalita isang commissioner, and there is a spectacle na nag-aaway yung commission. Ang hinahingi ko lang, if any, at kung hindi ako mapipigbigyan, okay lang, sabihin ni Chair Van Gaston, eh, he does not speak for us, we dissociate ourselves completely from him, at huwag naman yung spokesman na hindi ko man lang kalikilala kung sino yun, eh, respetuhin niyo naman ang Senado. So, now, we talked about this in the recess, so I will go to the, cut to the chase. You are going to raise a question that allow me three-day rule? Yes, sir. No. Uh, that's why I raised it before the committee, uh, before the whole session. I said, because of this, I am constrained uh, to go on with the hearing, call the police, and continue it and finish it without the Commission on Human Rights, because if they don't want to respect us, we will not uh, bring them over. Because anyway, they have witnesses. Submit your witnesses. We will give it to the police. They will investigate. I don't have to investigate. We are not policemen here. We are here to create an aid of legislation. Tapos na po yun. Nasa isip ko na ho, susulat ho, by Monday, we will come out with a report. Linis na lang ho itong gagawin namin para matapos na yung mga tatanungin namin sa mga polis. Kung meron tayo ita, uh, nakitang uh, ginawa ng kapulisan na lapastangan sa karapat ng pantao, i-file po natin ang kaso sa polis. I-file ang human rights. Hindi po pwede kami mag-file. I can file on my own separate and individual capacity, but the Committee on Justice can only make a report, and it is up to the Senate President to refer it to the Ombudsman, to the Police Commission, or to whatever, na mag-file sila. In the meantime, I do not intend to waste any more time on the issue. I don't want to be arrogant. If you disagree, take it to the floor of the Senate, again, which has been done yesterday. We are going to hear, and who knows? I am against, and just to show you, I am against the death penalty. My father was assassinated. A niece of mine was, was badly murdered by a houseboy. Nahuli ng mga police, mayroon ko noon, sabi, patayin na namin, huwag yung papatayin. Ikulong natin. Ngayon may bill dito, na kinausap ako ng ilang mga senador, ano ba ang solusyon dyan? Payagan nyo na ang death penalty sa mga drugs. Para siguro, imbis na nagkakapatayan sa drugs, i-file na lang ang kaso. Eh, gusto-gusto ko yun. Pero, I will not support the death penalty. Because sa akin, mas masama, mas mahusay, ikulong, huwag lang preso kabalyero. Yun lang ang gusto ko sabihin dito para malinaw na ho. And I will give you a minute to conclude para matapos na po. That is what I'd like to state here. In front of Chairman Gaston, who's there, I would like nothing better for him to come here. But for so long as Chairman Gaston and the Commission does not dissociate himself from this rogue individual, whom I don't even know, the Senate doesn't even know, who dares accuse the Senate of all of cowardice, I'm a senator. You know, sabi niya sa harap ko yan, I... Ay, ay, hindi naman ako matapang na tao, pero huwag niyo sasabihin sa harap ko. Alam ko naman, magaling magtago yung mga cowards eh. The real cowards are those who die a thousand deaths because they cannot confront. So, they want to confront the newspaper? Take it to the newspapers. It sells the press. I'm not going to reply to it because I will not even give it the dignity. Kaya lang luwa pa si to because ito nangyari. It is a failure on the part of the Commission of Human Rights on being judgmental. That is my personal opinion. That if I was chairman of the Human Rights Commission, isang tao ko, isang commissioner ko, nagsalita, partner naman, hindi naman dapat siya sinabi mo. I would have to dissociate myself from that statement. And any other commissioner here can dissociate himself if they wish to. But please do not write me a letter saying we hope and pray that the Senate will ferret out justice. That is what we are here for to ferret out the truth, and to go to justice. That is what I accepted this commission for. I am overloaded, and I like it. I'm used to work. 13 hours 
that has never been done here on committee hearing. I had to, uh, all the others had to suffer for it. My staff has to suffer. The staff of the senators had to suffer. Six hours before. So, tapa to, respetuhin niyo. Hindi kami nagbibiruan dito. Gusto namin matapos ito para baka agwanta po tayo. And if I may say, lahat kami ayaw namin ang patayan. Walang Pilipinong gustong patayan. And the surveys of the President even show that. Popular ang Presidente, pero ayaw namin yung patayan. You all know that. Hindi ko ako sumusunod sa uso. Kanya-kanyang paninindigan. Yun lang ho. May I continue, Mr. Chair? Yes, you may. You have a minute. Thank you. I do not wish to make any counter-manifestation or counter-statement in reference to what happened during that, that uh, proceedings on which led to the outbursts. So may I just go back to the two points that I was uh, mentioning. First, in relation to the suspension of uh, hearing out the uh, CHR witnesses on account of these unfortunate comments and statements from one of the commissioners. I am constrained with due respect, Mr. Chair, to uh, suggest or even to move that we allow the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak, say something, because certain statements are also being uh, attributed to him. My statements and the statements of the Honorable Chair. So I think it is but just fair, just and right, that we give the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to make a statement, to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights. Because the CHR witnesses have been prepared, have been ready, have been waiting since day one of this ongoing Senate inquiry. From the first hearing where I presided, they were there. They, and some of them come from the province, and they've been waiting to be presented before this body. Yes, this issue about the unfortunate statements attributed to one commissioner has created this situation where both institutions seem to be now at loggerheads. Institutional integrity, institutional, uh, what? It's, it's institutional integrity because while I was talking to the chair, he's also pointing, she's, he's also saying that this also involves the CHR as an institution if the CHR will simply issue an apology for something that he has not done or stated as an institution. There are other remedies, Mr. Chair. If we want to go after the so-called rogue commissioner because of such expressions of his opinion, such expressions of his sentiments also with respect to the goings on in, in the ongoing in, in the Senate inquiry, there are other legal remedies, like first requiring him to show costs. Why? I'm sorry, he should not be expired. He should not be cited in contempt. It, it's also my prerogative, Mr. Chair. That the latest minute has expired. The committee has the prerogative to continue on with the hearings. I'm sorry. I have a motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead and file the motion. State the motion. Can we can we tackle this? Because it's a no, motion. No, state your motion. Do not, uh, do not do so. Do my not motion. My motion is for the committee to allow or give opportunity for the CHR chairperson, chairperson. Uh, Gascon, to explain the position of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue about the statements being attributed to one commissioner. And secondly, Your Honor, I have not gone yet to the second point with respect to the issue of whether or not it is proper for us to tackle the death penalty bill in the absence of uh, compliance with a three-day notice rule. Yes, this was mentioned yesterday by the good chair in the course of the proceedings yesterday at the Senate by way of his comment or reaction to the privileged speech of a member. But let's take note, please. Let's remember that the, the matter of the EJ case 
is before a committee or two committees, the Committee on Justice and Human Rights and the Committee on uh, Public Order and Illegal Drugs. The matter is not before the plenary. And there was no proper motion filed or raised at yesterday's plenary session about the propriety of tackling the death penalty bill in the course of this inquiry into the extrajudicial killings. I think the other members of the two committees would want reasonable opportunity also to go over and study the death penalty bills. I, for one, just like the good chair, is against the death penalty. I want to participate thoroughly in the discussions and the deliberations, and therefore I would want reasonable opportunity also to tackle that bill. Let us invite also appropriate resource persons in tackling a very important piece of legislation, the death penalty bill. We cannot just infuse it in the ongoing inquiry into the extrajudicial killings because that is the very subject matter of this inquiry. So I raise a point of order and I would want that also decided on by the committee. I will not be dissuaded. So I have two motions, Mr. Chair. You Thank can you only very have much. one motion at a time and you're over, you're, uh, you're out of order. Let me just say this. Yesterday you apologized to me and I did not even bring it up. Now you're going against the issue and you're going against the grain. Now let me, let me just finish. You cannot control this uh, uh, the way you controlled it last time. I, I don't want to fight with you. I respect you. But let me just point out, I am not going to veer from the purpose of this investigation. The whole hearings have been, you know, so convoluted by all kinds of detours. The hearing started with an investigation on extrajudicial killing, and then all of a sudden, from out of the blue, an individual named Matabato was brought in, no affidavits, and the hearing was conducted that resulted in a fiasco where, unprecedentedly, the chairman was removed for lack of objectivity. And yet, you cannot blame this representation, because I went over backwards again. Without postponing the hearing, we went on as scheduled. We continued with Mr. Matobato, even if it was going to derail. Already, there were already inconsistencies. And we're not judging. We can prove that. I have all the charts to show that. But we continued on with that. It was a wild goose chase. And at the last minute, he disappeared. After 13 hours, when the moment of truth was going to go there for the confrontation with the people he was going to be, he was accusing, he left only to discover that he would have a pending warrant of arrest. And now he's incarcerated in jail. And he should be brought to justice. You know, I, it's not far from, you know, I don't know, fried chicken. I'm not, I'm not involved with fried chicken here. It's not a question of pride. I mean, I don't care if you apologize or not. I thank you for it. I think that's very noble, but that's okay. Let's finish. I did not even go there. Even before your apology, I said I'm not going to go and bring the Senate to another distraction. People are saying we should concentrate on traffic, we should concentrate on peace and order, we should concentrate on other things. Here comes another distraction. We cannot be forever distracted. I, he is my friend until now. He is here. I did not say anything against him. Would you like me to read his, his statement, his text? I will not present him here, but I, with your permission, uh, Chairman Gaston, I will read it. Because it speaks about you as a gentleman, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And I will quote, alam niyo, ito na text sa akin si Senator, si Chairman Gaston, baka maging senador yung balang araw. Ano sabi po niya? Binasa ko po ito si Senado Kapon. Kaya sabi ko, hindi na kakailangan eh. Good evening po, Senator Gordon. I am currently in Amsterdam and heard about the news report that one of our commissioners criticized you. This is not the position of the commission and bank. And I 
Sabi niya, and I apologize for whatever aggravation this may have caused you and the honorable members of the Senate Justice and Human Rights Committee. I've spoken to the other commissioners and hope, and we hope to make it right. We hope to make it right. May I please call you? Thanks and God bless. And I replied to him, and we talk. Sabi niya, ako sabi niya ibang commissioners. Eh, ang lumabas, lumabas so ito. Did I, did I bring this out? I did not. I did not. Senator Subiri saw a newspaper report na, that we were being slammed. Uh, that, you know, we, the CHR was slamming the committee. So he stood up. And when he stood up, I had to stand up already. Now, sa akin, wala ho yan. The apology, the personal apology of Senator of Chairman Gascon is taken into consideration. I respect him as a gentleman. He doesn't have to apologize to me. The least this guy could do is apologize for himself. But the point here is when the commission is dragged, when the headline. When the, new, when the newspaper, which I brought in a while ago, uh, came in and says, big, big headline, CHR, eh, talagang magkakaroon talaga ng issue dyan, which I did not raise. Tama na sa akin yan. Sabi na ni Chairman Gaston, pero lumabas na nga yan, pero lumabas na nga, ano ba ang gagawin? Papapuntahin nyo pa si Chairman Gaston and we will be diverted? I think that I don't have to do that. I think... Ito, binasa ko na. That's good enough for me. Mr. Chair, I'm withdrawing momentarily my second motion while we take up my first motion. I'm reiterating... Uh, the, the Chair is confused. Which motion are you talking my about? First you motion, two motions. My first motion, Mr. Chair, is to allow the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak and to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue at hand. Thank you. That is a pending motion. It has to be resolved first. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be any member of the committee here. Are we going to vote each other here? <laughs> you know, technicalities must always give way to substantial justice. I move to suspend. <laughs> I, I don't suspend, understand Mr. it. I really do not understand. When you make something, you know, you accuse the president, it's a big run, you withdraw. Ah, you accuse him. Let's not go to that, Mr. Chair. Let's not go to that. And you that. will sorry. You will say sorry. And now, there is a particular matter at hand, so. Excuse me, what are you trying to tell me? Um, hindi po uh, appropriate. Na nag, kung ano ano naman po ang hinahalo niyo na issue. Ano hinahalo? Ikaw ang naghahalo. And I am not going to nick the papatulan. Oh, see here, there's a motion. Let's vote. We have a quorum. One senator, two senators are here. Let's vote. There's a motion that says we should bring Senator Gas uh, Chairman Gaston here. But Senator Napalagi, that's the best. Ka. Baka magi Senator Kana. <laughs> All right? As many as are in favor of bringing Senator uh, Chairman Gaston, pagapat na. Uh, to testify here. As I many as are against. What do we do now? Then I raise the second motion. We defer at the moment. The motion is overruled because there is no vote. Okay? I will raise it again at the proper time. Oh, you can raise anything at the proper time. May I raise the second motion or reiterate my second motion on the... Uh, propriety of taking up the death penalty bill without compliance with the three-day notice rule before this committee. I move that we defer the taking up of the death penalty bill until such time that there is compliance with the three-day notice rule to afford the members, the other members of the committee, 
sufficient notice as well as notice to resource persons. Is there a second? There appears to be no second motion, so the motion is overruled. Let's proceed. You may bring it up to the floor next time. It's better to bring it to the floor where everybody is here because I brought it to the floor last time and you were there. You did not say anything. We shall now do it. You know, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't really cherish this uh, discussions uh, that are... Uh, 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 Senator Raquel, will you be, are you ready to make your presentation on the desk? Just for the floor? record, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, just for the record... You the are speaking the, on the record all the time. The we plenary, have not turned off the microphone. The plenary proceedings yesterday was not the proper forum or venue. I stand corrected. To you are, you are the all matter. obviously, you all have the answers, and I bow to your knowledge. It is brilliant. The proper forum is, is before brilliant. the committees themselves, not the plenary, because the matter of the EJ case is, and the other, and even the noted, death, noted, the death penalty noted, bill the chair will now proceed. has been referred uh, already to the committee. You are not recognized anymore.